Hey guys, um, I loaded a video showing the product I bought on Timu for helping with lubrication for dilation. This contraption here, I bought this on um, Timu. It is a applicator, so I like to use this to put the um, lubricant inside me, which just makes dilation a bit easier. So I fill this up with um, lube. Oh, that looks really weird. And you just insert that inside your vagina. Honestly, the amount of ignorance in the comments, like children are watching this and didn't can't believe I'm watching this video. I just came here to watch memes. It's like, you realize that YouTube is a big space where there's a lot of different types of content. It's not just about your little world that you live in. You know, like that product itself has really helped my um, dilation. And, um, you know, and I feel, and I'm going to call out, you know, the, the, the algorithm on YouTube. I do feel like all I can talk about is transgender related content because if I do anything else, it flops and gets no views. So, you know, even my um, algorithm tells me this is the content people want to see. It literally shows me the videos that people want to see. I have noticed that videos I do about tours, you know, the tour videos, like tour a transgender house, tour a, trans, tour a transgender bathroom, and I show the dilators and I show the stuff on the floor, which is true, that's not made up, that stuff is literally on the floor every day. Those go viral, so I got like nearly 10,000 on one short just for that. But I'm, I don't know why that one, those ones get pushed, but I see the comments and they're always like, oh, it's a man's house or children are watching this. That's a favorite one. You know, children are watching this. It's like, okay, <laughs> it's YouTube. And also, I also do the drop down where it's like not made for children. So they shouldn't be seeing it anyway. And if you're a good parent, you wouldn't <laughs> be having your children on YouTube un, like supervised anyway. So get the hell off my back, you terrible parent. Um, and it's just like the comments are really toxic and anti trans like a lot of them are just so childish and it shows how little we have advanced <clears throat> um but i have those videos go viral so i create them and i get a lot of subscribers from those types of videos so can you blame me for doing them um it just worries me like get on my instagram please um you're missing out and if i'm gone i'm gone i'm not going to re resurrect this channel if it gets banned i'm not coming back i'm just going to get on with regular life and not load up anything um i just couldn't be bothered going through all of that process again um but if i'm going to create edgy content where i'm telling the truth you know like what's dilation like what's being botched like what is sex like what is the secretions i'm getting what the hell is this what the hell is that get on my instagram because then you're going to see where I've gone if I disappear because I ain't coming back if, if I'm banned I'm, I'm done with this so if I do a video that is not even related to being transgender it gets like barely any views um, so I feel a little bit cornered that it's all I can talk about and yeah I've got a lot to talk about being transgender like there's a lot of stuff I can still talk about because I was botched because I've got many stories because I'm still recovering. But once you've recovered and your transition is over, there's not a lot to talk about. And so, I don't know. And that video I put up with the applicator, I wouldn't be surprised if I got like a strike for doing that, even though it is like an educational video. So I'm watching that one. I'm ke I was going to take it down, but I was like, no, I'm not taking that down. And if I get like removed from YouTube again, like I was, you know, guys, like I lost my channel for two weeks. I wasn't coming back. But the only reason I got my channel back is because I disputed it with them. Um, so if you're not following my other social medias like Instagram, you're not going to know where my new channel is because when I was banned on YouTube, I created a new channel, but none of you knew where it was. Like, I only had 200 subscribers, so going from, you know, I'm nearly at 11,000 subscribers down to 200. 
no, none of you all knew where I was because you ain't on my other channels. Like you're not on my Instagram. Like I've only got 300 subscribers on Instagram. So drag your lazy ass over there and join that because I also post stuff I do not post here that I can't get away with on YouTube. So um, it's a whole different world on Instagram. That's a different like version of me. So um, when I spoke to the moderator for YouTube, like I actually spoke to a human. So I got to hand it to YouTube for having real people but was it like it might have been it might have been an ai i don't know but it seemed like a person to me what annoys me is i had a subscriber called deirdre who used to comment all the time on my videos she would be you know posting these long replies about how she lived in the small town and she would these big replies and i, I would read them most of the time but she's like gone and I, I said to the moderator I'm really concerned about some of my subscribers because some of them are elderly and um, are elderly trans and they follow me and we're almost like pen pals <clears throat> I don't know where she is now like when, my, when I got my channel back she was gone and I'm not sure if she's still alive because she was quite old I don't know and I'm kind of annoyed that what I said to that moderator has almost come true it's like she's nowhere to be seen so if you're there, say hi, but um, just having a bit of a like, I feel cornered. I feel like I can't do the right type of content. If, if I don't do what the algorithm wants me to do, I fail in the views. And then when I do something the algorithm likes, I then get told by viewers, oh, I don't want to see this, children are watching. Even though I've put on the, um, the drop down box, not made for children, YouTube could still strike me and remove my channel despite doing all of that. So it, that's where you end up with these sanitized channels like that are quite sanitized like Maya or um, Matilda or um, some of the other YouTubers because they have to because they'll get struck down. <laughs> so we're all kind of bound by these, these sort of mysterious. So these rules like when I looked at my channel when I was banned I was like I haven't broken any rules yeah I've done videos where I'm like doing this and doing this that's not against the rules guys that is not it might look sexy it might look cringe but it's not against the rules if I pulled my top down and I pulled up the, you know and I had no clothes on that's against the rules so I was like no I'm, I'm being targeted here and I, I was like going into conspiracy territory. Is it like, it's like, I was like, is it because I talk about politics that they don't agree with? Because you all know they do um, shadow ban people that don't speak the narrative, that don't say the things they want you to hear. You absolutely get shadow banned. Look at channels like um, um, Shapeshifter. They do struggle to go completely viral. Or where are the other voices? On the other side so but if you say the right things like Matilda or Maya or Samantha Lux you get pushed by the algorithm <sighs> so yeah anyway I better head off to work that's my little rant over I'm feeling greasy because I've got my sunblock on I've got to like go out there today and work in the Sun and I uh, hope you guys have a good day see you bye